Kristen and Valentine's Day is just around the corner so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these heroic chocolates that are perfect for the geek in your life. I'm using this really cool Marvel mold that I got in one of my loot crates but I think what's great about this project is that it's so versatile. You can use whatever kind of chocolate you want, you can add whatever toppings you want and you can customize it for any occasion just by switching up the mold. Alright, without further ado, let's make some chocolate! This is what you're going to need to make these Marvel superhero chocolates. Of course, the biggest thing is chocolate. I'm using Hershey's milk chocolate and dark chocolate, a mold of your choosing, a microwave safe bowl, a spoon, whatever ingredients you want to add, so I have peanut butter and sprinkles here, and you're also going to need some cupcake liners. The first thing you're going to do is open up your chocolate bars and break them up into the bowl. You're going to need more chocolate than I have here. I would actually recommend using six or seven bars to fill up the entire mold. Then you just pop it in the microwave for one minute. Now you're going to stir it up, but as you can see here, it's still a little lumpy, so I'm going to throw it back in the microwave for another 15 seconds. And presto, perfecto, it looks great. Once you've stirred up the chocolate a little bit, you're going to start pouring it into your molds. For the Captain America molds, I'm not filling them up all the way, I'm just kind of doing the shell of the shield, because I'm going to fill these with peanut butter after. But the rest of them, you can just fill up all the way with chocolate. I decided to switch over to some dark chocolate. You're going to do the same process, microwave for a minute and stir, but I noticed that for the dark chocolate it wasn't melting as easily so I put it back in the microwave again for another 45 seconds to a minute. And then, here we go, we're back in action. Then you just pour the dark chocolate in. And now because I started to notice that the inside of my Captain America molds were starting to dry a little bit, I took this opportunity to add my toppings. I decided to do some sprinkles on a couple of them and fill the Captain America molds with peanut butter. But you can do whatever toppings you want, marshmallows would be great, almonds, peanuts, maybe pieces of fruit would be good. Cover up the peanut butter and now we're ready to move this into the freezer. I left mine in the freezer for about an hour, but you can leave it in longer. Time to take the chocolate out of the freezer out of the mold. The good thing about this mold specifically is how flexible it is because the chocolate is really in there. And here's a quick look at the chocolate combos I did. Once all the chocolates are out, move them into a cupcake liner. This is great because the chocolate can get a little bit messy. And now that you're done, the sky's the limit. You can wrap this up to give to someone as a gift. You could just eat it all yourself because hello, I mean it's chocolate. Delicious. I think these came out awesome. I would totally buy more molds and more chocolate and experiment with making different types. There's no way someone will not have a super day after getting one of these. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you're doing this Valentine's Day. If you decide to make this project, I would love to see your take on it, so send me any photos on Twitter or Instagram. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like my videos because I come out with new ones every week. See ya!